Hello friends, and welcome back to another episode of the Dirt to Daytona Career Mode series. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna see where we went last time, see how we did, and then tell you where we're going today. Last time out, we ran Michigan. I honestly expected to finish pretty well, but never got the setup quite right, and the car just got away from me a few too many times, so. 35th place finish that dropped us down to 25th in the season points, but our goal is top 35. We're going to do it. I'm pretty confident in that, but see where we're headed today. Today is race, our last one in June, headed to Infineon. I had already checked the schedule, so wore my Brad Perez shirt because it's squiggly season. Let's go turn right. This is not going to go well. So I have absolutely no idea how to build a setup for a road course car. I, okay, yeah, just pinch me, that's fine. I have no idea. The engine's blown. I have absolutely no idea how to build a setup for a circle track, apparently. Um, I definitely have no idea how to build a setup when I'm also turning right. So, unless like the gearing is way off or something, I don't actually plan on making any changes here. I think all I'm gonna be doing is working on getting through the track without crashing. I'm gonna have no tires at the end of the lap. It's just gonna look like SVG's victory burnout every lap, because I'll be roasting these tires off. Like Watkins Glen is a track that I've run in this game, in other games, whatever, like a lot. I feel Okay. All right. That's swell. But yeah, I've run Watkins Glen a ton. I feel like I have a pretty solid idea of that track layout. Not going to act like I'm good at it, but like I know where all the turns are and stuff like that. I feel like they have changed the layout to this place so many times that like between the NASCAR Heat games and this game and iRacing and whatever else I've driven this track on like it's never the same they're always changing something and if my team was going to change anything it should probably be the guy behind the wheel car left Left. Hey, this is the farthest All we've right. made it yet. Come on. We're so bad. Our left. Like, I, I can't touch the gas pedal. It just lights the tires off every single time. All clear. You know what? Clear right. Oh my goodness. We have engine damage, but we have made it across the finish line. Let's go. Oh, you think Jerry's mad from uh, me spending him a minute ago? So is the trick to just go 12 miles an hour in fourth gear for the entire course? Because I'll do it. The engine's blown. Fantastic. I have made quite a few changes to the car. I have 
zero idea if any of them are going to help or what in the world is going on. I have very low expectations for this event. Come on. The setup definitely seems to be helping the car. I stiffened up the front sway bar quite a bit and just made some adjustments. For some reason, the tire pressures weren't the same left to right. Seems like if you're turning both directions, you would want those to be equal. Um, but uh, yeah. Just made a couple changes. It already feels in infiniently better. Uh, sorry, that was terrible. But yeah, car feels better. I haven't crashed it yet. And I'm almost at the start finish line. That's crazy. Hey, look, we crashed it. Attempt number a lot this is gonna be really fun with 43 cars going into this corner i'm sure there will be no calamity at all still going too fast there I wish that wall was like a different color so you could actually see where the wall is. That'd be cool. Also, these uh, rumble strips sound exactly like the ones from Phoenix, which is funny because they just sound so wrong. So I definitely still need to work on getting my speed correct for this corner. And then I crashed. You're in the wrong pit lane. I'm well aware. And then I crashed here last time. So yeah, let's not do that again. Car left. Come on, Sterling's like 100 at this point. I cannot let this dude outrun me. Yeah, see, his car turns there and mine just doesn't. Oh yeah, we're like, we're broke. Yeah. All right, let's qualify. We just might not be last. Possibly. Go, 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 go. So they give us two timed laps because we were essentially at the finish line when it started. So this lap will definitely not be a heater by any means, but it just, if I crash on the second lap, you know, at least this will give me something to fall back on. But, you know. We're just trying to not start last. If we can accomplish that, I'll feel pretty good. Yeah, still don't really know how to get through here, but I'm sure we'll figure it out by running through someone. This is the one that counts. I think that was our best lap yet. This would also be the first time we make it two complete laps through the track if we can you know, actually get back to the line. So 
that would be uh, monumental for our squiggly season program. But we are so bad. This section is what is just killing me. I cannot keep the car anything close to pointed the right direction without sliding all over the place. Those tires are hurting. All right, let's see where we play. 131. It ain't gonna be close to pole, but it's better than I expected. So we're only seven and a half seconds slower than Ryan Newman. That's good. I'm very excited and I know this will go good. All right, friends, let's get squiggly. Welcome to the famous Napa Valley of Northern California. One of the few road courses on the NASCAR circuit and one of the best in the world, Infineon Raceway is a beautiful two mile track with multiple turns testing a driver's skill and patience to the ultimate. A true test for drivers is to try and keep their eyes off the scenery and on the competition at Sonoma. Get set. The race is going green. What in the world is Dale Jarrett doing back here? Still there. So it's a 15 lap race. We will have to stop once. All clear. Oh Car boy. Left. All clear. Oh, come on. Car left. Okay, we didn't crash. We lightly tapped something. But we didn't crash. Still there. All clear. Car left. Oh, come on. <laughs> Just go the right direction. Kurt, where in the world were All you left. going? All clear. Same for you, Jimmy Spencer. Where in the world were you going? I guess the trick for this section is just run third gear so that you can't really get much wheel spin. So we have dented almost every corner of the car and we have damaged a wheel, but by golly, we have finished a lap at Infineon. Stay left, still there. Buddy, stay left, still there. Tell me stay, stay left. left, whatever, I don't care. I'm having a hard enough time All keeping clear. it on the track. If I was out here by myself, I could not make 15 clean laps. Respectfully, shut Stay up. Left. Still there. Car right. Oh, we're fine. Car right. We're fine. All clear. Oh, everything's fine. Thankfully, I didn't put any grill tape because I kind of assumed at some point I would bonk the radiator, so I didn't want to be close on temp and then have damage that caused the problem. 
So I wisely said, yeah, Still let's there. just leave it cold. All clear. Ah, we've done engine damage. I didn't notice that. I saw the radiator. Didn't realize we also had the motor damage. I don't know how many of you guys watch Michael Cozy Jr., but his Dirt to Daytona playthrough within the last couple months, he raced here at Infineon, and I don't think I have like audibly laughed that loud and that hard in a very long time. There's definitely episodes of this where I'm not having as much fun as I would like to, but Car left. it yeah, if if you have not seen it, go watch it. That was one of the best episodes of his playthrough yet. Man, for some reason, after crashing into all of this stuff, my car is not driving as good as it once was. What a strange turn of events. And I think at this point we've officially made it further than Denny Hamlin made it in the 2024 Infineon race. So I'm not saying I'm a better road course racer than Denny Hamlin, but I have done more laps than him this year at Infineon. Definitely thought I was going to get the wall there. Definitely did not mean to downshift there. Everything's fine. All right. All Why right. would you go to the right of a car that is sliding towards the wall? It's on the right. The yellow's out. Well, you're all clear. Yeah, we needed that yellow. I assume. I think we're in the pit window, so I'm pretty sure everybody's gonna pit. And because we're gonna start single file, I think we're gonna get the green flag like back here. Oh, I wonder if there's oil down, cause uh, <laughs> that's a mess. How is Ward Burton leading all these laps when Ryan Newman set like a crazy good speed? I don't understand. Oh, is that the is that the caution lap line, <laughs> or is the game just learning from how I drive? Pace car is off. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. So we are back in 30th place with a car that is basically brand new again. And I am excited to see how long it takes me to mess that up. Oh, I guess uh, like three turns because someone drives right in front of me. Like, why are we, why are we moving in braking zones? Car left. Clear left. Do we 
Do we have to turn? Can we just... Yeah, I like that line a lot better. Still there. I'm mad at you for earlier. Car left. You're all clear. Good day. You're in the wrong pit lane. I'm not trying to pit. I'm trying to not crash. Thank you, though. Car left. Hi, car left. I'm car right. Leave me alone. Alright, there's no one to brake check me on the straightaway. Fantastic. The engine's blown. I'm making it back to the pits. I don't think debris on the grill is the main problem now. I think we have other things to worry about. Oh, it says I have 100% of an engine. That's good, right? You know what? I'm just gonna drive the rest of the race with a blown engine. We're not pitting. I will gladly be everyone's problem. On the bright side, I shouldn't really have to hit the brakes much. Look at that, I can take corners full throttle now. Hello, Robert. Nice to see you. Kenneth, you as well. John, good day. Rusty, everybody else. Car I'm not left. hitting the brakes. Clear left. What am I gonna do? Blow my engine? <laughs> Jeff, Bobbert, Dave, Ermy, all you fellas. Five laps to go. I bet I ain't gonna run five more laps. Bye, Mikey. Bye, Jeff. I fake Jimmy. Oh no, am I gonna run out of speed going up the hill? Oh, come on, push. Push. No. Somebody hit me, please. Oh, come on. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, we're picking up speed. I think our engine's getting worse because there's a lot less noise in my headphones. Oh, look at that. We're picking up speed going down the hill. Hey, Kenny. Nice to see you again. There's no way that you can tell me that I am not pouring all the oil from this motor onto the track. And realistically, it's all gone by now. But like, no caution. You're just gonna let a guy blow it up. Just keep on driving around. Not even like the black flag or anything. Also, Hermie, dog. I'm going 12 miles an hour and you have a whole racetrack. Figure it out. Also, I have no engine power. Why am I pushing you through a corner, Bobby? I think everybody's afraid now. Oh, come on. Somebody just bump draft me. Car left. All clear. Oh, 
Ooh, I don't think we're gonna have enough speed to get up this one. Oh, we might. All right. Oh, come on, we're there. We're there. How did I get around Terry Labonte? He must have hit and blowed up or something. Come on, push me fake Casey Kane. Just give me the old bump draft. All right. Clear right. Come on. Push me. NASCAR, this has to be some sort of safety violation, right? All right. You're all clear. Like, you, you can't just let this keep happening. All right. Ryan Newman is all the way back in 40th now? What happened? Wonder if I can, uh, Ross Chastain wall ride here. Yeah, let's go. I don't know if we're making it up the hill this time, guys. <laughs> Last lap. Come on, you only gotta pull uphill for like two more sets of corners. All right. Come on. Give me some help, somebody. Okay, I think we made it through all the uphill parts of the course. So it's all downhill from here. <laughs> well, folks, our Cup Series squiggly season debut went about as well as I expected. We are going to limp at home 40th with a completely blown motor, lose a bunch of money, and I am going to go cry as soon as I take these headphones off. It's just like Truex just trying to bump the starter to get his car that was out of gas over the line. We're so close. Hey, we passed Harvick. Let's go. We'll get him next time. P39. Woo! Well, that is certainly going to be a race to forget. We finished three laps down in 39th. We somehow <laughs> leapfrogged a few guys that, you know, if we would have just said screw it and quit, we wouldn't have. So, I mean, hey, we gained like nine points. That might mean something at the end of the year, but probably not. Let's go see how bad this was for the old checkbook. Yeah, that was a tough one with the, uh, the blown motor. We, uh, we had a rough day for sure. And with our 39th place finish, we are still 25th in the points. We definitely lost some ground to the guys around us, but we just have to finish top 35. That's what I have to remind myself. It's okay. It's just a bad race. And that is going to do it for another episode. I just want to say sorry to Brad Perez as I did not do squiggly season crowd at all. 
I did not squiggly season good. But anyways, thank you guys for watching the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not. And leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. I hope I catch you in the next one. See ya.